Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. Well, on this channel, you never know what you're going to see. Uh, we sometimes have some technology reviews, some coffee reviews, some old laptop reviews and stuff like that. Well, today we're going to take a look at school supplies. Uh, more specifically, we're going to check out a 100% post-consumer waste built pencil. Uh, it's uh, completely biodegradable and it even has a few little features about it that make it very unique from the uh, pencil we're going to compare it to, which is the Dixon number no. 2, right? And uh, so anyway, uh, this, this pencil, I purchased these out of my own pocket. This is not a promo. This is not a freebie. I bought it from CW Pencil Enterprise, which is based out of New York, New York. It's a small company. Um, they do feature lots of different school supplies and pencils from around the world. And I heard about these on a morning news broadcast. They were showing off some of the pencils that the company sells, talking about the company, and then they featured the pencil I'm going to show you in this uh, review. This is called the Fabula. Um, they are made over in Europe and uh, they're made out of coffee grinds, tea leaves, and uh, recycled flowers. So the biggest question I have is what does this thing actually smell like? But also, is it really worth seven bucks for a pencil? Um, because you know, after all, you could buy five, five and a half packages of these for the same price. But again, you know, it all kind of become, comes down to you as a consumer, you know, whatever you want to buy. And if you think it's something that's good for the environment or not, that's always going to be up to you. So. Let's go ahead and check out this pencil, see how well uh, this thing has arrived to me, if it's broken or not, and uh, just see how well it functions. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so who doesn't like a little unboxing, right? So uh, CW Pencil Enterprise, they only charge a couple bucks for shipping on this item. I want to say maybe it was like $3. Honestly, can't remember, but it came in a pretty substantial package, which uh, again, on this channel, I reuse these boxes all the time, so it's kind of nice to have that. Uh, let's go ahead and cut right into it here and see what we got. Thank you, Travis. Enjoy. Oh, that's cool. All right, got a little thank you letter from the company. And uh, got a person's name. Looks like maybe Esther, possibly. We'll check out this letter here in a little bit. And here are the pencils. Okay, and there's a little bit of filler in there. Okay. All right. And again, their website features a ton of different products. I think they had 12 screens with like 10 to 12 pencils on each screen to choose from. So they do send in a little package. Um, okay. Now, I did see these when I purchased them. They do come in a recycled wrapper, which is kind of interesting because uh, you can apparently do some games and activities on this thing, which is kind of cool. It says, the most sustainable pencil in the world, uh, the Fabula Green Challenger. Uh, they're made in Croatia, and you've got uh, some warnings on here. Writing pencil from recycled material. Usage instructions keep away from moisture and warmth, and I'll talk about the reason why here in just a little bit. Handle with care, made in Croatia, non-toxic product, not suitable for children three to, zero to three years old. Please use under parental supervision. Then it has some information in some foreign languages. What I don't know is what the actual pencil lead is made out of. In fact, I was going to call uh, CW Pencil Enterprise and ask them and see, you know, what what is it? Is it is it also like a biodegradable product? Is it graphite? What is it exactly? But apparently the lead is fairly close to number two pencil. Lead. Uh, it's a little bit lighter from what I saw on the CW Pencil website, and they do a great job letting people put their uh, reviews up of products too. So Green Challenge, you can do something different uh, every month, January, February, March, April, oh, something for each month of the year. How to use the Fabula, we'll talk about that in a second because it actually is a little bit more than a pencil, and there's instructions on here for you to follow, and that's kind of the surprise. It does come pre-sharpened. That's a pretty uh, substantial barrel. I'd say it's probably, yeah, it's like a little cigar. <laughs> I'd say it's, um, you could probably argue maybe a third larger than a regular barrel. So if you're somebody who doesn't write well with pencils, uh, you might find these a little bit too small. This definitely is gonna fit your hand a little bit better. It's completely uh, a cylinder in shape, again, pre-sharpened. No eraser on the back, and that's kind of where the surprise comes in. Now, when you sharpen this thing, apparently you can use the shavings as a compost or a fertilizer for your house plants. Uh, you're supposed to dump your shavings on it because they're made out of tea leaves and coffee grinds and uh, old flowers from that are recycled from, from floral shops and so on. And apparently all the uh, different items that make the pencil are gathered by hand. They try to have as small of a carbon footprint as possible in the production of it. Uh, one little surprise, there is a gooseberry seed in the top of the pencil. So when you run the pencil all the way down, and for $7, I'm gonna use this thing until I can't use it anymore, you take the remaining part of the pencil, you plant it in soil, you water it, give it some sunlight, eventually a gooseberry plant or some sort of gooseberry plant's going to grow out of the pot. So while you don't get an eraser, you do get a little surprise at the very end. There's other pencils that are out there like that, but I just thought that was kind of cool. Thought my wife might get a kick out of it, hopefully she'll use it, but it really just kind of has some, some nice heft to it. It does kind of feel like it's just made out of just a piece of wood, basically. It's compressed together and so on. Uh, how does it smell? It smells like sawdust. 
Interesting, interesting. So maybe if we cut it down a little bit and, and grind it up, it might have a little bit uh, of a different smell to it. It might have some glue that keeps it get, to get together. That's something I really don't know. But again, a little paper liner comes with it. It's kind of a nice little add-on. And that's how it uh, shows up. Anyway, let's go ahead and test it on the paper that they sent me with a letter. Okay, so a traditional number two pencil. We're used to it, right? Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit for you guys here. Here we go. Easy to use, simple, we all know it, right? The one thing that they said in the reviews is that the lead on this is a little bit lighter than traditional number two lead, so we're gonna check it out. I don't seem to notice that at all. I mean, maybe just slightly a bit grayer, but I think it's gonna function. They say you do have to push a little bit harder down to get it to write, but I don't seem to notice that. This would be kind of a nice little contractor pencil, I think, something that you could just uh, kind of keep around you. But again, keep it away from heat and moisture, so maybe not. Uh, all right, so again, it's going to function just like any other pencil. Let's get a little closer view of this thing here. There we go. So again, I just wanted to pick this up and try it out, and I uh, just thought it'd be kind of an interesting little design. I like to support small businesses when I can. And uh, yeah, so, so there you go. That is the basics of the Fabula pencil. At some point down the road here, if I ever wear it out, I'll definitely plant it and give you guys a uh, heads up and let you know if the plant did in fact grow out of it, but the instructions are right there on the wrapper on how to do so. But uh, anyway, that's it. So now the big question is, you know, is it worth $7? Again, as a consumer, you know, you gotta make choices about, uh, you know, the, the impacts that the products may or may, may, may or may not make on the planet and it's gonna be your buying dollar in the end. I just thought it was kind of a cool little product and that's why I wanted to pick it up, but um, in the end, it's gonna function just like a regular pencil. If you wanna support a small business, support a small industry, you know, you're, you're more than welcome to do so. If not, those old number two pencils are always sitting around there waiting for you. But anyway, guys, thanks for checking it out. This is my quick review of the Fabula Organic 100% Recyclable, 100% Post-Consumer Waste Manufactured Pencil. Uh, guys, if you like what you see, please like or subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And uh, in the meantime, we'll be bringing you a lot more videos on this channel here in the next couple weeks. So, guys, thanks for watching. I want you all to have fun. I want you to be safe, like, and subscribe, mash that bell. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, y'all take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.